Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute three daily dose of Torah. Today is referred to as Yom HaMeyuchas. Yom HaMeyuchas, the day with lineage. Today, the second day of the month of Sivan. And you'll ask yourself, what is the lineage of the second day of the month of Sivan? And it's hard to figure out. Um, we do have the following the Torah tells us as we um, arrive at Sinai. I'll read you the Pasuk here. The Pasuk reads as follows. Bachodesh Hashlishi, on the new moon of the third month. That would be the first day of the month of Sivan, which was Tuesday this year, yesterday. Let's say, thanks for the time. By Yom Hazeb Baomi Bar Sinai, on this very day they arrived at Sinai. So the first day, Rosh Chodesh, is Rosh Chodesh in and of itself, has its significance, and it's a day in which they arrive at Sinai. Then, um, eventually, God tells everybody that they, uh, that the, um, the, Moshe instructs people after he comes down from the mountain, having gone up. You should prepare yourselves. For three days, I'll teach, right, for that, it's, it's placed for them, and, <coughs> excuse me, and then after the three days, or on the third day, um, right, the, 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 there is a preparation to go up on Sinai. So, figuring out exactly how that works, but we refer to the Shloshet Yimei Hagbalah, the three days where people are separated, that would be the third, fourth, and fifth of Sivan as we work out the calculations. So that's a significant day, and then and then Rosh, and then, and then uh, the day of giving the Torah on the sixth day of Sivan. Beautiful, sixth day of Sivan. Beautiful. It's the day of the Torah giving given the Shavuos. The working backwards, the three days prior to that are the days of Shoshim Megbala, the days of separation, which are special holy days. Work back one more day, nothing, and work back one more day before that, Rosh Chodesh. So this one day stands alone. So it became known as Yom HaMenuchas. Now, um, here are three explanations that uh, perhaps uh, you, uh, you've heard or not heard, and I'll share them with you now. <coughs> Excuse me, the Gemara says, Since it is sort of laid there right between two days of, of significance, Yamim Tovim, celebration days, significant days, they made it as if it were also um, a, a Yom Tov on its own. It doesn't have anything going for it at all. It's really a non-day, but it's between two other significant uh, periods of time. So they said, we'll make you also. And that's what we call Yom HaMiyuchas. We give you lineage. It's an honorary degree, right? That's what they, that's what they hand over to it. It's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful um, teaching of the Rabbi Yisrael, Razin, the Razin Rebbe, who compares it to someone who uh, the king has asked people to come and paint the walls of his palace. Four people, three of them come in and paint. The fourth guy's doing nothing. And then uh, the last minute, he comes in with beautiful mirrors somehow, and he, wor and he works in the mirrors so that the fourth wall is now uh, reflecting all the, other, all the other walls around it. And that's what he says the same way with this day of Yom HaMiyuchas. Um, the first day of Rosh Chodesh behind, other days, actually, the three days of separation afterwards, and it gets to mirror them and draw on it. Um, the last way to look at this I'll offer to you is uh, those, who, those who explain that when the second day of, of, the, of the month of Sivan is when God says to the Jewish people, you'll be my, uh, my segula, my treasure, you'll be my, my kingdom of priests um, and, um, and, a great, and a holy nation. That in and of itself gives this day great significance, carries all this power. Everyone enjoy this day, the Yom HaMiyuchas, to celebrate uh, all the things that we've described. Wishing you a good day.